In this video, I wanted to talk about the PS3 again. Building upon my other videos, I saw people's comments about the cell processor, but the main thing is that there are these SPUs, so these vector-based engines, uh, accelerators that are attached to the main processor. Why is was it difficult for you know game developers to take advantage of this architecture back in 2006 and in the lifespan of the PS3? Is because you need to think in a different manner when you're programming. The Xbox 360, for instance, would run games better because programmers basically develop their game to work in a single-threaded or multi-threaded environment, but they haven't architected it in a way where it takes advantage of the SPUs. The SPUs was a new concept, I think it's still a new concept in 2024 and going forward because the idea of having accelerators do the heavy lifting of you know vector-based or math-focused uh, performances such as physics, lighting, uh, you know whatever, and you dilute your program uh, in a, such a way that all that heavy lifting is done by those vector-based accelerators and then your core, you know, your, your CPU can do the rest of your uh, computation.